Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. I am here at uh, South Station. Yeah, and here we've got the train rolling in. I timed that right, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, so I am at what we used to call Platform 3 or Platy 3 here at South Shore. It's a Friday night, around about half past eight. That train is on time, by the way. There was someone over there in the shelter. They said, do you think the train's coming? And I, I'd just come down here to film a video. I've got no idea about the trains. I usually get on the train at Blackpool North. I'm not used to coming down here. And yet I used to live around here, only about five minutes walk away. So we used to coming down here in the olden days and, and get the train from here. But so yeah, I thought we'd have a little look around this part of town, starting here at South Station. And this is, of course, where the tram uh, not tram, <laughs> the train terminates and it didn't used to terminate here of course because as you can see the train has just pulled into the stop there Waterloo Road is just up there and of course the tracks used to go underneath the bridge over there in fact there used to be more tracks we've only got the one track now there used to be more tracks than this used to go underneath the bridge and all the way up to Central Station but that was a long time ago uh, I don't think you get many train spotters uh, at this station because uh, we only get like a bog standard train coming in here we don't get anything special we've just got this one line here as you can see look at that there can't go any further by the way they won't let us go any further there oh look we've got Samaritans oh, there has to be a Samaritans doesn't there uh, but anyway, I'll just give you a look, look, look around here and we'll have a walk around the streets. Uh, just over here is, uh, I think there's a car park over there, and then we've got Lydham Road. And if I lift the camera up, you might be able to see the Enterprise Centre over there, the old Lido Bass. So, yeah, that's where we are. And I'm now going to head back up this way and we'll head to... We'll head on to Waterloo. Before I do that, I just want to show you outside. I want to show you where the old tracks were. Yeah, they're just over this fence here on the right hand side. We'll have a little look, shall we? Check it out. Blackpool South. They've got some nice little uh, planters here as well. Look at this, yeah. There you go, Blackpool South. And now the train. Listen to that diesel engine. Whoa, come on. Making its way back to Preston because it only goes between here and Preston. There it goes. So this is Blackpool South. There you go, that's where we're starting. A little bit different for you tonight. I've not been down this end for a while. And we'll have a little look around here. And they've uh, got some more planters here, look. They're not too bad then really, are they? And there's the, there's the, uh, the buffers. There you go, that's the buffers right there. They, the end of the line is right here. But it didn't used to be, of course. Let's head out here and I'll show you. So I've just come back outside and uh, we've got these plant pots here with four mims in. They don't look too bad. Although they do look like the sort of shunt in there just to block something off by the way but if i look over here we'll see can you see how this is all raised up here look so there used to be another line going across there yeah parallel to that one and now i'm in this massive car park this absolutely huge car park here so this is the main road you see this road here that's Eden way that takes you out of blackpool or into Blackpool, if you so wish. Uh, it's, it's where you come off the South Shore, you go down there. We've got the farm food store there, the ambulance station's over there. And just over here is the bridge with all the... Where all the... Well, I mean, it's before my time, but I expect that quite a lot of railway uh, lines went through underneath that bridge there and right into central and there was a lot of sidings as well uh, some people might know better than me because i think it goes back to the 60s when they were all taken away 
looks a bit of a mess around here actually because I'm filming this on a Friday night after we had storm loading and as you can see quite a lot of leaves around quite a few trees got damaged in that storm anyway I'm going to head up to uh, to Waterloo Road now and we'll check out a bit of this area okay here we go I've got some pretty good transport links in Blackpool really to be honest just up here we've got a bus get straight on a bus yeah do you reckon plenty of buses just over there's the old Palladium Theatre yeah it used to be a bingo hall that's where my mum used to play bingo the Palladium I don't remember it as a theatre this road here is called Garden Terrace and uh, I met a guy not too long ago who lived down there and he said oh you showed my street on one of your videos and you said it looked a bit well he said you wouldn't want to live there or something like that <laughs> it doesn't really look all that inviting I have to say but anyway let's carry on we're approaching Lytham Road now just over here we've got the Royal Oak this is I think it's closed I think it is closed the Royal Oak you can see this in old photographs but yeah it's closed it's been closed for quite a few months I think they're looking for a new, are they looking for a new landlord it's quite a popular pub around there they have bands in there but there are other pubs as well we're getting a look at the pubs of South Shore just over here we've got uh, the dog and partridge, or should I say the og and partridge. And if I look straight down there, Blackpool Tower, come on. That's looking straight up Lytham Road to the north. And I'll just turn around and show you the Royal Oak. Quite a fancy pub actually, yeah, with the tiles. So let's head over here to William Hill. Some things never change, you know, and this is one of them round here, William Hill. I remember it from as far back, well, as far back as I can. And there's a reason why someone told me that that is on an angle. Can you see how that is on like a 45 degree angle? Someone told me that it used to be a pub and it was square. It was like a 90 degree square, but then they got rid of the pub. Uh, the betting shop was there behind the pub and then that's how it ended up like that because they got rid of the pub and that's how it ended up being on an angle well that's what he told me anyway what do i know <laughs> i only rem ever remember it being just like that there but this is waterloo road and yeah i've been down there a few times on the channel and it suffered a little bit over the years you know being quiet and it's had money pumped into it it's been pedestrianized i remember the old days when this was all just like a normal road you know and then they put sets down you know they put sets on the road and then the sets all seemed to get knackered so they had to replace them so yeah this road has suffered a little bit yeah it has Seaside fish and chips. I wonder what they're like. And just over here we've got what looks like it used to be an old bank. Must have been an old bank, mustn't it? It's now Pepe's Peri Peri. It was um it was uh, like a sort of souvenir shop type thing before. I remember buying an umbrella from there for three pounds and it was bloody useless. It was about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Just down here is St Bede's, St Bede's Avenue, sort of like a bit of a cul-de-sac down there. If I turn around this way, we've got there's a few hotels and that around here, but quite a lot of terraced properties and flats in this area. As I head down this way, we've got a building here that's got essentials on it. That used to be the new market. We were always in there, always in the new market every weekend 
we went in the new market and again it's a nice building with a tiled front to it and you could go all the way through to the back you could go out the back there's a way out the back now this building here with smart mart on it we used to call that the old market funny enough that was a market as well the crafty bear shut uh, yeah i wonder why oh, i expected that to be open the crafty bear anyway just over here is the old post office building the main post office building in South Shore, it just goes to show, doesn't it, how busy the post office must have been at one time that they had two major buildings in a relatively small town like Blackpool to have two major, but this one not as grand, obviously, as the one in town, but it's still, you know, it's a major, major building, isn't it? Three stories. I don't know if there's a sorting office in there. It's now, I don't even know what it is. Um, I thought it was a gym, but the gym's all pulled. If you saw before, if you just go back, you'll see that the, the, the doorway to the gym is actually boarded up. So I don't really know what it is at the moment. Hello. Now then. So we'll make our way to the promenade. We'll just go past this pub here called The Bull. This is a very popular pub. I just want to quickly show you this street here. There's a street here called Gordon Street. Look at that there, look. I think there was a street down there with this, like a back alley in it. I did do a video a few, oh, it's a couple of years ago now, where I went down some of these side streets and I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that some of them were streets because they looked like alleyways. We're just coming up to Bond Street and, uh, well, don't really need to talk about this place too much. You all know about this, don't you? The old heart store. Of course, formerly, originally, should I say, it was Woolworths. We're now at Bond Street, and uh, I'm not really sure when this building will be sorted, uh, when it'll get turned into a car park by Howard. If he, Howard's in a bit of a battle with the, with the council over it, and it's just going on forever, Bond Street. As you can see, I've spoken about Bond Street before. Looking this way, we've got Bolton Street, which I call the back alley of the prom. We've got a shoe market here. A shoe market's been going for decades, you know. We're just at the back of the Dutton Arms over there. And we're not too far away now. But not Rihanna's. Family owned. Not Rihanna's. Yeah, still in the same family. Since it started, they had, well, I think they had some in town. Did they have a couple in town? Uh, and then they moved here. And then they ended up, this is the only one they've got now. They do have mobile as well, they go on bikes, they can go on bikes as well. Brooks Collectibles, check it out. Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah, you're right. How are you doing? Nice one, yeah, I've not been down here for ages. Check out this joke shop here, isn't it awesome? Oh, this is a YouTube Yo, we got some young fans here. My name's Polo. My name's Charlie, and I do Simpson. Check him out. My name's Luke, and I'm subscribed to the Fresh YouTube. Thanks very much, Luke. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, we're just speaking to some young fans there. Yeah, I, I said to them, I said, I don't want to put you on the video because uh, they're so young, but they said they insisted that they wanted to go on. So uh, I let them have a, a few seconds of fame. We're just going past the, uh, the McDonald's. All the bright lights of Blackpool here at South Shore. A little something a little bit different for you. There you go. The Landau. Yeah, I can hear the South Pier over there. The South Pier is banging on the South. I said, you know, I said uh, on a previous video that, um, I'll tell you what, I'll just turn it around. Now, I did mention on a previous video that I believe that the piers, the Central Pier and the South Pier, with all these rides on them, I believe that they are captured 
the atmosphere that the Pleasure Beach has lost because of the, the payment to, to ent enter the, the Pleasure Beach. Whereas you don't need to pay to go on the piers, you just pay to go on the rides. And if you don't want to go on the rides, you just have a walk around, you don't have to pay anything. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So I'm now outside the Queen's Hotel, checking it out, the Queen's Hotel. This goes back away, you know, the Queen's Hotel. It's, um, it's, it's one of the grandest hotels at this part of town. Can't really compete with the Imperial and things like that, you know, the Cliss and that, but it, it's a bit, I don't know, it's not, it's a bit more muted compared to those, but it's always been, you know, quite a, a well-respected hotel. And it used to be run by the Mancini family, who were very, very popular. I don't know who owns it now, but it's actually connected with the Vikings, so it could be, it could be uh, run by the Viking. I'm not too sure. The, well, actually, the Viking, I believe, is run by Choice Hotels, so I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments if you know anything. I'm just going to have a look over here. I want to have a look at the South Pier. Check it out, ride the lights. If you're watching this before the 27th of August, you've got a chance to come to Blackpool and ride your bike on the promenade. I wonder if those kids will be riding their bikes on the promenade because they've all got bikes and scooters. Here's a little look at the beach. It's looking pretty deserted. There's the South Pier, of course. I haven't really featured the South Pier all that much lately, but... Uh, it's uh, it's looking pretty well lit up and uh, nice atmosphere on there. Well, I tell you what, it's quite lively on South Pier. I'll have to go on there and do a video sometime if I can. I remember doing a video on there years ago. It was in the first year that I was doing videos and I don't even know if I ever put that video out, you know. So South Pier is really, really lacking in my videos. Apart from just showing the pier, I've not actually been on the pier to do a video, can you believe it? But I'll see if I can get on there. There's music blaring and everything. I won't do it now. And they are a little bit funny about people filming and taking pictures on the pier, so I'll pass on that for now. Well, they had a massive bouncy castle there. Check it out. And we're now at Station Road. We're just across from Pablo's. That's another ice cream place, but they also do fish and chips as well. They've been going a very long time. Are they in the same family? Well, I'm not too sure about that, actually. I don't know. But we've got these places here, look. So I'm just here outside Graham's. It's Graham that runs the Mr Whippy. He's just been telling me that uh, his dad used to take pictures of uh, people. He used to be a smudge, what you call a smudge. I've spoken about smudges before and they used to have a monkey and a lion they used to take pictures of people yeah that's what used to happen here in Blackpool yes the bright lights were just outside the the South Pier uh, let's have a look at the front of the South Pier shall we yeah he was just telling me a fascinating story there they used to make a fortune the smudges they used to get them out in fact you know that pub I went past before the bull on Waterloo Road I've got a picture that was taken by a smudge just out there. I don't know who's on the picture. I don't think it's any of my family. But uh, that was taken by a smudge, that picture. We've got another stall over here. We've got uh, a hot food there. Burgers, donuts, cart door ice cream. Yeah, they're just packing up now. It's the, What time is it? Oh, it's roughly nine o'clock now. I'm just making my way now. In fact, we're just over the road now from one of my favourite pubs. It's the Weatherspoons Velvet Coaster. Check it out. Look at the bright lights of the Velvet Coaster. There you go. And, uh, you know, there's quite a lot to see and do around here because just over here we've got the Grosvenor Casino. And that's inside the Sandcastle building. So it's a little bit of Las Vegas, right here in South Shore, Blackpool. Now 
now just behind me is the Pleasure Beach and the Pleasure Beach is in darkness. Now years ago, or should I say decades ago, that wouldn't be the case on a night like tonight. That would be open, probably open till midnight. But these days it doesn't open late, not on a Friday anyway. It will be open to 10 o'clock on Saturday night because they tend to have uh, the late opening and they also have fireworks. But tonight, the Pleasure Beach in dark is in darkness, but that's not true of the South Pier and a few other things around here. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. That was a little look around the South Shore area of Blackpool. It's quite lively, actually, yeah? Apart from the Pleasure Beach, of course, which shut at 6 o'clock. That shut three hours ago. So, anyway, there you go. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.